Hi everybody, welcome very much to the channel once again. Today we have game number one out of a best of three, counting for the open qualifier day two for the EGC TV's Elite Classic 2. And it is between Corvinus in the color blue, playing as the mount. My bad, guys. Versus Matisse in the color green, playing as the Zushi's Legacy. And guys, I've been casting a lot of sets today and yesterday. You will have on Twitch, by the way. Check us using the links down below. And I, have, I ain't be seeing a lot of Zushi's Legacy. So it's cool to see them here being played by Matisse. We've seen some Maldians, not a lot. But we have seen some of them more than Zushi. But I'm still happy to see them. They are one of my favorite sieves to watch and cast. And then, if you enjoy the content, guys, leave a like and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. And also follow me, Corvinus, Matisse, and EGCTV on Twitch. Support the community. Be a part of it as well. So Maldins vs Zushi. Are we going to see? Are, are we going to see a Zugnu rush? Perhaps. Maldins have the perfect counter for that, which are the javelin throwers, but they are way harder to mess, right? Not only because they are more expensive, because they also cost, um, no, they also take more time to make, and uh, with the Zushi Legacy, with the Song Dynasty, or just the Young Nan Tower, they can build a building and gain a free unit that comes out of that building in case of the archery range. It will always be a, Zu a Zuganu. So, with that said, I think a Zuganu rush is very likely to come out of Matisse. But also keep in mind, Maldians can do a good and fast, fast castle into a sofa spam in early castle. And then the Zuganus will not be able to defend that if the sofas in the castle age will get their plus, not plus seven, but they can go up to seven range defense. So good luck, Zuganu, defending that or going against that, right? Meditation Gardens. Ooh, two golds, a stone and a berry patch. That's going to be a good Meditation Garden. Good old Mansa Quarry for Corvinus here as the Malians. Nothing new. Let's accelerate. Go, go. Accelerate. Go, go. Go, go. Kahalu. Meditation Guard. I want to see those resources. It's gonna be juicy gold, I think. But it was capped. Remember, Meditation Gardens didn't have a limit to how many resources it could generate, but now it does. So... Let's see how good is that Meditation Garden. We have to wait a little bit until it makes the right calculations. And let's see. Jiang Nan Tower coming in. Jiang Nan Tower. That's the right pronunciation. It's going to be a second town center for Matisse. And it's going to be... Uh, no units here yet for Corvinus. It's going to be just cow shopping into Castle Age. Perhaps. Oops, wrong place. Huge mining operation here. Do we have the right calculations? 24, 48 per minute. That's actually pretty good. That's... A, ain't that... A, no. A relic is 80 per minute. Hey, it's almost a relic. Not really, but almost. It's good. 48 per minute in the Feudal Age. It's actually huge. Stone coming in. So no, second TC coming in on the deer. Waiting for some wood. There we go. Wood gets delivered. Uh, Corvinus trying to push the deer away as possible. But smart plays from Matisse, killing the deer himself. And, but, okay. That, that ain't too bad. The deer didn't have much to go into the forest, right? But that one is very far away. The rest is pretty chill. That one is far away too, but it's not a big deal. Yeah, we have some cow shopping. We have some units for Matisse. Don't tell me it's going to be second TC into Fast Castle as well. I mean, sometimes playing Feudal against Malins is such a risk. Because then you might not have enough units to defend the, the, the sofa spam and they just completely run over you. So, I think it's going to be a cow shopping into Castle Age. 
The 68, it's 50 per minute, so better, not 48. This 50 gold per minute will help reach Castle Age a bit faster, farm transition happening right now. So nobody making units. Oh, hold on, it's a stable. No, it's, it's for the Castle Age. So I'm glad we can speed up because I really don't, it's not that I don't like, I just think it's not a good viewing experience when both players go to the Castle Age. Like it's 10 literally 10 minutes of just me. And she shoris, like we say in Portugal, filling up the shoris, filling up the sausages. Trying to sell the fish, right? Hey, is that a warrior scout? It is. But it's not doing much. Just walking around. Going for the second pit mine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Corvinus, you sure you're gonna go for that second pit mine? It's so far away, brother. Shaolin Monastery. Or Matisse. Where is it? Right. Oh, no. Here. It's right there. One, two relics really close. Three should be for him as well. The fourth one is in there, in the middle. That one is pretty far away. Maybe you go for that one first. No, because Orvinus also reaches the castle age. Ten minutes straight on point. He wants to go for the relics himself. Do we start with the sofa spam? Maybe we got some upgrades. I can go for a veteran warrior scout. That's true. I forgot about that. I really like the Malians, bro. I don't play them, but I have to start playing them. They're really cool. All right, that's a lot of speed, man. Where Scout goes and he saves himself through the hole of a needle. It's also a Portuguese expression. Pelo buraco da agulha, through the hole of the needle. And uh, two barracks, two archery ranges. Yeah, the crossbows are going to be a very good help against the sofas because they do three plus three versus infantry. So spears still own them, but they take a lot of damage from the sofas. Sofas, run away, run away. Here we go. Here we go. They are safe. The spears cannot reach. And uh, wait. Oh, it doesn't. That's true. It doesn't. It doesn't show up when the Shaolin monks are carrying the relics. I really like the fact they're carrying on the back. They're just chilling. They look good in green, bro. But that's the first one only, right? Corvinus didn't bought anyone. Uh, didn't brought anyone. Any? No, it's here. It's here. One is there. Oh, they're going for the same second relic, but nah. Shaolin monks will beat your monk in a one-on-one -on -one fight. I mean. You can bring 10 monks versus... You can bring 10 imams versus one Shaolin monk, you will win as well. Sofas being destroyed by the spears of Matisse. But Corvinus also getting two villagers from Matisse. But Matisse is on a second town center. Oh, that's a lot of idle time. But it wasn't showing up. I think it wasn't showing up to Matisse as well. Sometimes it happens, sadly. I was being burned, so only two pit mines. Maybe that's why Corvinus wanted to go for the second pit mine, because now perhaps Matisse thinks Corvinus only has uh, one. But no, you have two. So let's see the vision of Matisse. He doesn't know about it. He doesn't know. Ah, but you can, you can actually see that something is here, right? So he would, he would assume, but why should he be checking the map for that, right? There is no reason. So now Matisse thinks that he destroyed one pit mine. No, he knows he destroyed one. So he thinks Corvinus has only one now, but Corvinus has two. Smart play from... And Corvinus can actually go here and build the... I don't know. No, he can, he can. He can just go here and build it there and be like, Hey, bro, you destroyed mine. You were very effective. No, he's going to rebuild it there. All right. More so far. Nah, nah, you can't pass through here. There is a gate of spears. Bye. Okay, two relics for Matisse. He's grabbing the third one. And there was another one in the middle of the map. Is he grabbing it? Who grabbed it? It wasn't... It wasn't Corvinus. Maybe Matisse is bringing it back. There we go. Yeah, it is. So four relics for Matisse. Only one for Corvinus. 
But Corvinus has has the the pit mines, right? He doesn't need he doesn't need the relics, guys. Give it to Matisse, be a good boy. Magician Garden still working pretty nicely. Three wood per minute. Hey, better than zero. Poison arrows coming through. They work very well. Oh, 500 gold, man. I don't know if that's a reasonable price for it, but it is what it is. They deal very well with armored units, though. But we have to kite a lot. We have to keep shooting and walking back. Shoot and walk back. Shoot and walk back. And against Pamela's Guard, it's harder to do that because they are extra fast. Right. More damage! Matisse lost 6 villagers so far. He's still almost 20 units ahead. So, pretty chill. And he has 4 relics. Now he still needs to drop the other one. Right there. On the monastery. Oh. Yeah, he's going to fight. We can't, you, we can't really see. Because all, everybody's blended in, in the green. Poison arrows working. Wouldn't it be better to just wallow low? It was a good fight though. Matisse defends well. Great farm transition. He lost 19 villagers. He, he's killing some in the front line too, but... He lost 19. Guys, he lost 19 villagers. That's a lot of villagers. Right? That's a lot. Alright. He's, he's only 8 villagers ahead now. Great attacks from Corvinus. Oh, Corvinus got two th sacred sites, getting the third right now. No, I thought he was. He's not. He has more units as well. Nest of Bees when? That's so much gold for Matisse. Because not only is the relics, but the... Oh, there you go. I heard it. <gasps> He's exposed. No, 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 no. It's safe. It's safe. No, it's not. Okay, one goes down. There is another one. Please. I really, I really like the, the sound of the nest of bees. I think I do a good imitation of it, no? Oh man, Matisse is bleeding more villagers. 24 lost so far. Corvin is throwing units away. I think he can, he has great eco, right? And he's always, always idling. The eco of Matisse. But Matisse now has more units, though. Palace Guards. Chasing down the archers. You I really like Malian music. Malian voice lines. Malian random sounds. Super cool. And Corvinus now has the three pit mines fully working. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's 18. He could have two more cows. No, he wants the cows there to eat. Oh, he took the relic away. Um, I told you they don't need the relics. Corvinus is like, okay, let's make the game more balanced. I will not use the relic. And you have four relics, okay. Oh, still needs to pick up one relic over there. That one is 200 food. That one is 150 gold. I would make that one, yeah. Nest of bees coming out. I heard it. It's a nest of bees, right? Uh oh, uh oh. Bro! <laughs> Corvinus is always in. Okay, sofas are being deleted by the crossbows, though. Whoa, lo, lo. Right. Well done. But Bro Matisse lost 31 villagers, bro. He needs a 30C. He 
He needs a 30C. At this point, he needs a 30C, man. Oh, Corvinus, you know who it is. Corvinus 1, also known as Salami, also known as the Wolo God himself. He's conquering the sacred site, but he has a relic in hand. Oh, casually floating 2,000 gold because he's playing as the Malians. Bro, 3,000 gold, and he has like one sacred site. Literally. That's all natural gold from the Malians. Village is exposed. So far, he's playing this one really, really well. Nest of Bees firing down three. Uh oh. If, bro, seven Nest of Bees melt any army. We, got, we are on four. It's the Griot. Wait, it's the Griot Bara? Are we going to see. Are we going to see Siege Festival into mass scouts burning a landmark? Bro, the first, not the first, but like the second or third Malian game that I played, I won like that. I went into Griobara, I made so many scouts. I upgraded them fully, right? Because warrior scouts can go to, uh, up to elite. And then I activate the Siege Festival, which increases the torch damage as well. A nice landmark snipe the guy. Right. Corvinus reaches the Imperial Age. Was floating 3000 gold and he said it's time to use this. Bro, it I didn't. S bro, it's the first time I've seen this landmark in a year or so. It looks so cool. With the tens, it, because it's basically you offering. Uh, you're making festivals for the gods, for the spirits, right? Siege festival, increased damage of rams, bombards, counter raids, uh, trebuchets, I mean, and torches by 50%! Increase military unit production speed by... Oh! Increase food gathering rate by 50%! But, yeah, it's all about the gold, right? And how much is the cooldown of that? Wait, there is no cooldown? So you can have three at the same time? No, there should be a cooldown. It's the Griot Bara! Griot Bara, it's not French, right? So it's the Griot Bara. Not the Griot Bara. Griot, no, it's Griot. Palace guards running around the map. Bro, come on, make more scouts. No, he's going with Musafadi warriors. Matisse went for the third town center, I told ya. He's only six villagers ahead on the third town. And remember, Maldians, they have the cows and the pit mines, so they're really not six villagers behind. Five in this case. Six now. They actually... they actually ahead. They are, literally, they are ahead. Right. Sofa's looking good. Elite Sofa looking good. Yeah, go, 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 go. Chase them, mf -er. Oh! How many nest of bees? Four. Only four. That's not enough. And the sprinkle. Temple of the Sun. Coming in for the Zushi. Lego. What? What? what is it? Hello? Temple of the Sun? Where is it? Where are you? Temple? There you go. Alright. More Musofadis! Is it going to be a Musofadi spam? Okay, so it's a, a cooldown of 30 seconds, I, I guess? Yeah, it is, because it's 15, and it was right in the middle. And I don't know what he used. I think it was the production, because the, that is going fast. Local knowledge, Mustafa units heal while in stealth for two seconds, for plus two every one second. That's, bro, that's actually very useful for hit and run tactics. Alright, guerrilla tactics. Four nest of bees ready to... Mow down the army. Matisse, tw 10 villagers ahead after losing 39. 
Oh, he's losing more villagers here. Must have fought the warriors. Sniping down villagers. And the palace guards. They're going around. You can't see me. Yeah, actually, they can. Oh, they're building a random ram right there. All right. Most of on uh, sofas on the nest of bees. Bye bye. Bye. No more. Now we hear the pop. Table of the sun activates the divine haste. There you go. More. Oh, and Corbinus is 8 minutes into winning the game through Sacred Sight Victory. Oh, he's cleaning. No, no, it's, that's GG. I think Matisse does not have enough production to defend himself right now. Mustafa the Warrior is going hey ham. No siege activated. GG gets called. Corbinus gets game number one. And what a game it was. GG. Guys, follow me on Twitch. Follow these guys on Twitch and EGC TV on Twitch as well. Leave a like and subscribe. And I see you soon.